card number 436, Gene Alley. Uh, Gene's still alive. He's 82 years old now. Uh, Alley hit a inside the park home, inside the park grand slam at Jerry Park Stadium in Montreal against the Montreal Expos. With the bases loaded facing Carl Morton, Alley hit a line drive which landed in front of center fielder Boots Day, who slipped on the wet grass. The ball rolled all the way to the wall and deepest center field, and all the base runners in Alley all scored. Inside the park home run. Doesn't happen very often. Luis Alcaraz. Ha! Uh, one of his in Ken to Carlos, the tennis player that just won Wimbledon yesterday. Uh, Luis is from Puerto Rico, though. I kind of doubt it. Luis is, is 82 years old. He's still alive. Uh, no, wait a minute. I'll get on the wrong line. Luis is 81 years old. He is still alive. Uh, he played two state two seasons in Los Angeles. He was purchased by the Kansas City Royals on October 21st, 1968. And he played for the Royals for two more seasons. Gary? Yeah, good name. He's still alive. He's 81 years old. Uh, Gary played winter baseball in the Venezuelan League in 65 to 66. Uh, there he hurdled a 16-inning, 3-2 victory, the third most inning pitched in a game in league history. Imagine pitch, pitching uh, 16 innings in today's game. It just wouldn't happen, would it? White Sox All-Stars. I'm sorry, White Sox Rookies, 1969. Dropping the cards here. Try to do better. Number 440, Willie McCovey. Willie McCovey is, uh, died October the 31st, 2018. Willie was 80 years old. Uh, McCovey's known for a dead full hitter, line drive hitter, causing some teams to employ the shift against him. Uh, McCovey was called the scariest hitter in baseball by pitcher Bob Gibson. And Willie was from Mobile, Mobile, Alabama. Dennis Higgins. Dennis is still alive. He's 83 years old. Uh, he played all or part. He played in all or parts of seven major league baseball seasons. Ty Klein. Ty's still alive. He's. 83 years old. Uh, he owned and man managed the Baskin Robbins ice cream restaurant franchise. Ty Klein, ice cream man. Don Wirt. Don's still alive. He's 84 years old. Uh, Wirt was also he singled in Detroit's final singled in Detroit's final run in the 1968 World Series. Knocked in the winning run, final run. Joe Moore. Joe's still alive. He's he's 80 years old. He was the youngest starting pitcher in Dodgers history at 19 years and two months of age. Bobby Noop. Bobby's still alive. He's 84. <clears throat> He uh, was exciting in acrobatic fielding plays. He played played a deep second base, had an exceptional range and a strong arm. After retiring, Newt worked for over 40 years as a minor league and major league coach, scout, and advisor. Claude Raymond. Claude Ramon's still alive. He's 85 years old. During the 1996 Summer Olympics in Atlanta, Ramon was the public address announcer for baseball. The International Olympic Committee required that announcements in Olympic venues must be made in French, which made Raymond, who was previously pitched in Atlanta, well-suited for the job. I think he was from Canada. I'm not mistaken. 
Yeah, Quebec. Who are you born? Then you got Ralph Hook, manager for the Yankees for several years. Bob Tolan. Bob's still alive. He's 77 years old. Uh, Tolan served during the Vietnam War in the 478th Engineering Battalion of the U.S. Army based in Fort Thomas, Kentucky. His unit included several of his teammates, including Johnny Bench, Pete Rose, and Daryl Chaney. Thank you for your service. Paul Lindblad. Paul died January the 1st, 2006. Uh, he died from Alzheimer's disease in Arlington, Texas. He was only 64 years old. 64 years old. Alzheimer's. Then we go to Billy Williams. Billy's still alive. Billy's 84 years old now. He was born in Whistler, Alabama, which is close to Mobile. Billy Williams. Rich, Wild, <coughs> Rich Rollins. Rich is still alive. He's uh, 85 years old now. Uh, he was a played collegiate ba baseball at Kent State University from 58 to 60, hitting 358 in his senior year. He signed for $6,000 as an undrafted free agent uh, by the Washington Senators. Al Ferreira. Al's still alive. He's 83 years old. As a youth, he was also an accomplished piano player. I never wanted to play piano. I wanted to play baseball, Fiera said. But a first-generation Italian woman like my grandmother didn't know anything about baseball. So I had to play the piano starting at age eight. I learned the classics. Uh, his teacher insisted that I read music and play the pieces that were written by Beethoven and Bach. I got pretty good and I learned to use the piano to do what I wanted to do. I had a deal with my grandmother that after playing for hours, she would give me a quarter to go to the Battaway on Coney Island. In those days, you could hit about 25 balls for a quarter. After a while, I got a reputation for a pretty good hitter. Men would come around when I was hitting and put more quarters in the machine so I could hit for maybe an hour, maybe a half hour. Finally, I got my grandmother to agree that if I were to become a uh, piano teacher's number one student, I could give up piano and play baseball. He would have a showcase rentals at Carnegie Hall, and the number one student would play last. When I was 16, I went on last as the number one student, kissed my grandmother, and never touched a piano again. <laughs> Still alive at 83. My failure? Mike died April 2nd, 2010. Uh, he died of stomach cancer. And you got the Phillies rookies. 1969 Phillies rookies. Don Money. Then Sonny Sherbert. Sonny's still alive. He's 86 years old. He was drafted simultaneously by the Cleveland Indians and the St. Louis Hawks of the NBA. Imagine being drafted by two pro franchise. Bud Harrelson. Bud's still alive. He's 78 years old. 78 years old now. Uh, he's the only person to take part in both the Mets World Series championship and appear in the first three World Series for the team. He won in 69, appeared in 73 as a player, and 86 as a coach, diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2016. Bud Harrelson. Dalton Jones. Dalton's still alive. He's 79 years old. 
His most significant contribution was to introduce teammate Bernie Carbo to Jesus Christ. As Bernie Carbo recounts, I met a former major league leaguer, Dalton Jones, at a swimming pool in Winter Haven, Florida. He told me about Jesus and explained the difference but Jesus could make in my life as, a, as troubled as mine. I prayed that day, and I believe Jesus began to work in my heart. Dalton Jones. Kurt Belfry. Kurt passed away January 28, 2021. He was 57 years old. He suffered from chronic pancreatitis. He had hip replacement surgery in the mid-90s and experienced a very variety of health and financial problems, including alcoholism and depression. Then we got Dave Boswell. <clears throat> Dave died June 11, 2012. Uh, he was 67 years old when he passed away. He died of a heart attack. Number 460, Joe Torrey. Joe's still alive, 82 years old. Torrey worked briefly at the American Stock Exchange after high school. Joe's 80, 82. Now, you'll notice the old scotch tape darkening where I had him taped up on the wall. <clears throat> 